Hello, I've been wanting to make some more videos about horror manga and maybe start a series on those as well. I haven't made one in a while so I wanted to get a video up on the channel and the horror manga that I want to talk about today is one that I have read somewhat recently and that's going to be Shibito no Koe o Kiku ga Yoi or in English you will hear the voice of the dead. This manga is a 12 volume manga written by Sachiko Uguisu that started its publication in 2011. Another reason why I chose to do a review on this manga in particular is because I wanted to do a video on a manga written by an author that isn't as well known. And I rarely see people talk about this manga or this artist online. So I was hoping to bring some attention to the work and recommend it to some people. So the manga is about a high school student named Jun Kashida who has the ability to see ghosts. He's a bit of a quiet loner who kind of keeps to himself and only really has one main friend. When he sees these ghosts, he typically will ignore them, believing that dealing with them will just cause him problems. So this is the way that he dealt with seeing spirits until one day he sees the ghost of a girl named Hayakawa who was his childhood friend. They were extremely close as kids but as they got older they kind of drifted apart and she had recently gone missing. He saw the ghost of Hayakawa standing behind the school nurse one day and once he noticed her she began to follow him around. Her ghost leads him to the school nurse's home where he discovers Hayakawa's body. It's revealed that the nurse has a split personality and her other personality is a crazed murderer who she believes is her long deceased brother and as that personality she was killing several students from the school and Hayakawa was one of them. So after the ordeal with the school nurse Hayakawa's body's found and she's able to be laid to rest and have a funeral but even after that she still continues to constantly follow around Kishida and though she's not able to speak and communicate with him she kind of guards over over him and throughout the story he will have a lot of encounters with a lot of supernatural entities and she will either aid him in some way or guide him to safety. The way the manga is organized is mostly every chapter is a new standalone story or you may have a story that takes several chapters in a row to finish but they're mostly all unconnected outside of dealing around Kishida coming into contact with a supernatural entity of some sort and him being in a life or death situation and usually having Hayakawa helping him survive. Most of the stories are kind of standalone but there are some continuing threads that are consistent throughout the whole manga and tie a lot of the stories together. In the next chapter we're introduced to some of the other recurring characters. Kishida's best friend is a part of a club at school and he drags Kishida along on a trip that the club is taking. The president of the club is a girl who will be another recurring character. She has interest in the supernatural and she is constantly dragging the club into dangerous situations and all the male members of the club simp for her and do whatever she says. The village that they take the trip to ends up being controlled by a Lovecraftian cult. The club members are captured and are made to be sacrifices to creatures that dwell in the seaside caves that the cult operates out of. As they try to escape, the club president uses and betrays the other members in order to better her chances of survival and all the male members of the club are killed off except for Kishida and his friend who end up surviving due to Hayakawa leading them to a hidden exit in the cave. The club president is a really funny character that ends up being a recurring character. When she was first introduced she seems like the type of character that would have died in a horror story right away due to her blindly running into dangerous situations but it becomes a pretty funny recurring joke the way that she's always able to make use of the people around her and be completely shameless in her self-preservation and she always seems to manage to come out on top and she actually ends up surviving the entire manga despite getting into multiple life or death situations that she drags her club members into. There's another recurring storyline where there's a where there's a serial killer called Ghost who brutally murders criminals and it ends up being revealed that this ghost is a girl who's around Kishida's age who has the same powers that he does and when she learns of him she becomes obsessed with him but since she's a crazed killer she causes him a lot of troubles. 
Most of the other chapters are various supernatural phenomenon that Kishida comes across. The types of things he comes across are extremely varied. There'll be ghosts, crazed murderers, aliens, Lovecraftian creatures, vampires, and many others. The varied nature of the stories is pretty fun because there's a lot of different types of stories and a lot of different types of horror that are explored here. And it makes it more interesting because it's something different in every couple chapters so in my opinion it makes the manga a little bit more fun it's sort of like a horror anthology centering around the experiences of a single character similar to Junji Ito's Mimi's Ghost Stories or Umezu Kazuo's Left Hand of God Right Hand of the Devil the tone of the manga also varies quite a bit between stories and between parts of the stories. There'll be parts that are straight horror and characters will die in extremely gruesome ways and everything will be high stakes and tense and other times it will go into comedy and parts of stories will be played for laughs. Hayakawa is a cute character and, and you could tell the artist put effort into showing her doing cute things and being cute so she's a nice ghost waifu if you're into that. Sometimes the stories will even go into a sort of shoujo-esque kind of style and feel for a short time and then go straight back into horror shortly after. The inconsistent tone of the manga kind of keeps you on edge and makes it so you never really know what to expect. Sometimes events will end up being played for laughs and will just kind of be a joke chapter and sometimes things will be an extremely gruesome horrifying chapter so you never really know until you read it so that kind of makes it more interesting as well. When you're talking horror manga a question that's always asked is is it scary? And for this one, I would say not really. For the most part, I didn't feel like most of the stories were too scary. A lot of them use humor or have absurd aspects to the story, but there are some stories and parts that are definitely effective horror and a surprising amount of gore and gruesome violence considering how cute the art style looks most of the time. As I said, there's a lot of different types of horror as far as ghosts and different monsters and aliens and killers. So there's a lot of variations, so there's probably something everyone would be interested in at some point. I do like the art style. I think it looks really well drawn and, and there are some really creepy looking parts when the author tries to make it creepy. Overall, this was one of the most unique and enjoyable horror manga that I've read. I really enjoyed it and I do recommend it to anyone who's a fan of horror manga. I won't get into spoilers, but I do have to warn that the ending may be unsatisfying. It ends on a cliffhanger that leaves what feels like the final arc of the story unresolved. You do get a nice resolution and development in the relationship between Kishida and Hayakawa at the end, but as far as the plot, it ends up leaving everything on a cliffhanger. Other than that, I did think the manga was excellent. If I would rate it, I would give it 4 stars out of 5. This is a manga that I had a lot of fun with and was entertained throughout. It had great art, memorable story, and memorable characters, and definitely left me wanting more. And that will do it for this video. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe because that does help my channel out a lot. And I hope you'll continue watching because I do have more videos on horror manga planned. And as always, thank you for watching.